Hey guys, welcome to Dainty Bite. Today I'm gonna show you how to make amazing salmon recipe. This recipe requires no prep at all, very minimal prep, easy ingredients, quick, great for a weeknight meal. Let me show you how to make it and let's get started. We're gonna start with prepping the tomatoes. I'm gonna slice these into halves. I'm gonna leave all the amounts and all the ingredients in the description box below, so check it out. I'm gonna chop the tomatoes, finish the whole amount, and then I'm gonna slice my mushrooms. The mushrooms, you can get them pre-sliced. I like to get the baby bella mushrooms. I'm gonna slice them, pretty thick slices. Now I'm slicing the whole thing, eight ounces. I like a lot of mushroom in the sauce. I'm gonna give the garlic a fine chop. Pretty much this is the prep work. I'm gonna finish the tomatoes and then we'll see you in a minute. So I cleaned my board and I'm gonna chop. This is gonna be for garnish, but I'm gonna prep everything so I can remove chopping fork. I'm gonna chop some dill. I love salmon and dill. Roughly chop. And now I'm gonna take you to the stove. The pan should be very hot. I want to cook it on high heat. And I already prepped the salmon. I added salt, black pepper and olive oil on both sides. And this salmon is skinless and all the amounts and all the ingredients are gonna be in the description box below so check it out one minute on each side I just want to give it a quick sear on very high heat and then I'm gonna remove it it's gonna continue to cook in the sauce, so I make sure not to overcook the salmon. Add a touch of butter and a touch of olive oil to the pan. And then I'm gonna add the mushrooms. Let them cook on high heat. They're gonna cook very quickly over high heat and they're gonna caramelize and they're smelling great. Now I'm going to add the garlic, three cloves of garlic and let them cook as well for a second or two before I add the tomatoes. We're still cooking over high heat so I make it quick and I add the tomatoes. I don't want the garlic to burn and I'm going to salt the mushrooms at this point and add some black pepper as well. This is actually the time it's gonna take to cook this meal. It's very, very quick. Now I'm gonna add a touch of tomato paste just to add some color. One tablespoon. I'm gonna cook it a little bit for 30 seconds before I add the heavy whipping cream. Now I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna let it cook and mix in with the vegetables one minute or two and you're gonna add the last ingredient for some freshness I'm gonna add the baby spinach and it's gonna wilt in no time at all the last thing you're gonna do is put back the salmon and let it finish cooking for another minute and check the seasoning for the sauce make sure it's right and of course, after adding the tomato paste and the heavy whipping cream, you're gonna turn the heat down to the lowest setting. If you wanna thin the sauce a little bit, you can add some fish stock. This looks perfect, it doesn't need anything. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my recipes. This is looking great. 
I'm gonna serve it with some plain jasmine rice and I'm gonna garnish with lots of spring onions and lots of fresh dill. I really hope you give this recipe a try. It's so so good, even kids like it. And until next time, bon appétit!